Hi, this is Pastor Greg, coming to you maybe not live, but alive. Alive with hope and anticipation of all the opportunities we have to be God's people in the world. This week, we have the opportunity of the church's most holy weeks, aptly known as Holy Week. Now, I don't know about you, but when I read a book, whether it's just story, fiction, or it's story, the truth, which is better known as an account. I don't usually start in the back. I start at the beginning. I'm encouraging all of you to do that with the account of what Jesus did for us. Most certainly join us for Easter worship. But please don't forget the important things that led up to Easter Sunday. Namely, Good Friday, where Jesus died on the cross. Monday, Thursday, where Jesus had his last supper with the disciples, and the trial began. So don't start the story, the truth of Jesus loving us, the back of the book. Join us for the entire account. Hallelujah! Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. We celebrate the glorious resurrection of Jesus Christ, accomplished for you and for me and for all humankind, because God loves us so much. Jesus indeed is risen. But we need to remember that this happened after a bunch of other things happened. So please join us for all of our worships as we remember all that Christ has done for us. There can be no glorious resurrection of Jesus from the dead unless indeed Jesus died on the cross first. And so we gather to remember that on Good Friday at 1 o'clock. On our journey in Holy Week, we don't get to Good Friday unless we have Monday, Thursday first, that night in which Jesus was betrayed that got the trial started and the whole the whole cohort conspiring against Jesus to bring him to the cross. So join us for the account of Monday Thursday here at 7 o'clock on the 28th. So we begin at the beginning, the beginning of the account of Jesus going all the way to the cross for us, ending the glorious resurrection on Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday worship, 8.30 or 10 o'clock. Join us for this entire account, the glorious story of Jesus, the truth of what he's done for us.